Hi, Don Hoffman here, and this is Airport Plaza Jewelers, The Kiosk Presents. We have some very special people here. Now look it, if you're a cat or a dog lover, you really, really need to listen. This is just the show for you. We have Linda Van Harsel. Linda, welcome to The Kiosk Presents. Thank you. And we have Kathy Nowakowski. Kathy, welcome to The Kiosk Presents. Thank you. And these fine ladies have are the founding members of, and I want to get it right, Heart of Niagara Animal Rescue, Inc. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. What is Heart of Niagara Animal Rescue, Inc. all about? Well, we are a 501c3 not-for-profit organization. We incorporated at the end of January, and to date we have adopted out over 100 animals. Adopted out 100 animals. Now, 501c3 means that you are a not-for-profit organization. Correct. Is that correct? correct. That is correct. 100% of the funds that we take in go directly to the animals. We are all volunteer. Okay. Now, this is, this is primarily for Niagara County. Why did you pick Niagara County? Well, we felt that there was a need in Niagara County. We saw that, and there was actually four of us that are the founding directors of the organization, and we rescue animals through uh, surrender. We take in strays. We uh, take in animals from puppy mills where they're mm -hmm. in unfortunate situations and from overcrowded shelters. Okay. So we get our animals from a number of different places. Well, that's a very important thing. Overcrowded shelters, what happens, because I've heard of a thing called animal control, what happens to the animals in overcrowded shelters? And I know this is going to be a little harsh to hear, but we got to hear it. Well, unfortunately, when animals are in overcrowded situations and they have no room for them, they're unfortunately yeah. euthanized. Okay, they're euthanized simply means? Simply means they are put to death. Healthy okay. animals. Wow. Healthy animals simply because there's no room. Okay. And we want to do everything we can wow. to try to make some kind of difference there. Okay, so your goal is to try to save as many of these animals from being put to sleep, they call it, or or actually killed as part of an animal control process. And that's very common in, in many shelters, is it not? It's, it's yes. predominant, yes, unfortunately. When you have a municipal contract, you have to take in what, what you... Uh, okay, so you ladies are actually rescuing animals from, well, the Grim Reaper. And, and, and you were saying something before the show. You said to me, we, there's, a, there's a home for every pet. If, and the, the problem is the shelters don't take the time or have the time to find the right matchup, the right, the right fit. So you, I think you used that term, the, you know, a dog for this family, a cat for this family kind of thing. And you work hard to help, them, help these pets find homes so they don't wind up being euthanized. We do home visits. We, we find out what the family's looking for. Um, sometimes they go to the local shelter and all that are there are uh, pit bull mixes and they don't want a pit bull. They might want a poodle. Well, we might be able to get them that poodle from a puppy mill rescue. Um, wow. And it's a matter of getting the, the puppies and the dogs to us and getting them out to the people who are looking for them. If you're looking for a poodle and you're going into the local SPCA and all they have is pit bulls there, you're not going to walk out with a pit bull if you're looking for a poodle. You want that poodle. So we'll try to find a poodle that's going to be killed unless we pull it and we bring it to us and we get it to them. So you have all this high paid staff working for you, right? To high do all paid that? staff. <laughs> <laughs> We're all volunteers. All right, this is an all volunteer, non-for-profit charity organization with the uh, best interest of each and every animal they rescue in mind, and they want to find a good, loving home. Listen, not only if you're interested in, in maybe adopting one of these pets, but if you'd like to participate, because the only way you guys get money is through donations and fundraisers and all that. That's right. So first off, you can donate money uh, to the organization, to Heart of Niagara Animal Rescue, Inc., by going to this website, uh, Heart of Niagara.org, correct? Correct. And there's a little PayPal button there. They can make yes, a donation. Yes, there's a PayPal button. They can donate directly online, directly and they sh to they us. They shouldn't go online unless they can donate at least $100, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> they can. We love $100. But no, if $5, $10, anything you can donate is going to help us isn't tremendously. That isn't that nice to know? So um, maybe you can't go out there and help with the rescue. You can't be a volunteer, but you can pitch in and, and, and help uh, pay some of the costs of of doing this incredible project. And there's, uh, again, there's a lot of uh, dog and cat lovers in this organization, the Airport Plaza Jewelers, the kiosk alone, Thank okay, you. let alone in, your, in the hearts of your families and, and a lot of our viewers. So uh, you can make a difference. And I even understand there's something going on with the Ellen DeGeneres show. Tell us about that. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to tell you. We have uh, been keeping our ears and eyes open for uh, certain grants and opportunities where we can apply and hopefully get the funds to start our building. We have applied for the Ellen DeGeneres 
Petco Foundation Home for the Holidays grant. We submitted five uh, videos which are now up on YouTube, five of our animals, Faith, Gracie, Dusty, Shelby, and Molly. And Molly. You'll find all five videos up there under Heart of Niagara Animal Rescue. We encourage you to view those videos, like them, share them, get the word out. Because <laughs> there's 4,500 entries and we want to win. <laughs> and you have a, a fundraiser coming up. Do you not want to tell us all about it? We do. We actually have a great fundraiser coming up early February. It's called the Taste of Lewiston. It'll be our second annual fundraiser. Heart to, uh, our first annual was called the Heart to Heart. A fundraiser for Heart of Niagara Animal Rescue and this year we are making it even bigger and better. It's going to be called the Taste of Lewiston. Uh, we will be talking to a number of different restaurants to help supply uh, some of their signature dishes and desserts and we'll have a basket auction and it'll be just a great time. Okay, so these, these stay gals, tuned for yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. And these girls are, are really deeply involved and in, uh, actively involved day by day right now in Animal absolutely. Rescue. Okay, now this, uh, the Taste of Lewis, and let's we'll get some more information. They can find out more of that on the um, Heart of Niagara. We will be putting it up two. on our website very shortly. Okay. But just, say, just know it's coming up in February. And there's a phone number. Somebody call if they're interested right now. More information? That's right. Okay, and the phone number is 716-345-7129. All right. <laughs> That's 716-345-7129. Okay, that's wonderful. And one more thing, I don't want to miss out here. Okay. You guys are really serious about the future. Um, you have a goal in mind. What's your big goal? Kathy, talk about that. To get a building. That's our main goal is to get a building so that we can help more animals. Every day I get phone calls, people begging us to take their animals, especially cats. Cats are really suffering right now. Uh, there is no room for them. No one has availability. And stray dogs, they don't have availability for them. So we want to have a building where we can take in more animals and help more animals locally and uh, find them their forever homes. You know, guys, this is a little bit more about just sort of watching and sort of how interesting it is. You can, you can do a little bit, and it makes a big difference. As a matter of fact, let's start the ball rolling. Let me see. Do I have any money on me? Well, <laughs> I don't have it in my pocket because I put my microphone in my pocket. Got a dollar? But, but we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna pitch in. But at the end of the show, we're going to make a donation to uh, Heart of Niagara Animal Rescue, okay? Thank you. And, awesome. and we encourage all of our viewers, do the same thing, please. And I think you'll be glad you did. Great little kitties and doggies will appreciate it. Thank they, you. Okay? <laughs> and uh, thank you for the work you do in uh, Niagara County. And guys, come on, let's pitch in. It's, you know, tis the season. Let's make it fun for the little guys, too, okay? All right, thank, thank you. you for joining us here, guys, on The Kiosk Presents. And thank you for joining us on The Kiosk Presents.